Hello everyone, doing a quick update video on this uh, pile of tree bark that I just uh, cleaned up and baked today. This all came from a tree stump on the side of my house. Um, live in a townhouse and uh, there was a tree that was overlapping uh, one of the houses and they cut it down and as you know the trees when I cut down if give them a little while the bark would start coming off and uh, some kids were out playing around and I saw a couple of these pieces laying down flipped them over they only uh, you know they were in good condition didn't have any mold or anything um, that can hurt the teas there was some you know your little ants but I came in washed them up real well and um, baked them now for anybody who's uh, just starting out on teas and you want to make your enclosures I highly recommend that you find yourself a park uh, especially this time of year in the fall find yourself a park and find yourself some big tall trees and look down the ground bring yourself a bag or a box and pick up uh, bark. You're not going to find stuff this big all the time but um, um, I got lucky with this. This is going to be um, this is basically what they sell in the stores um, depending on what store you go to and uh, they'll weigh them by the ounce so if you're a beginner please uh, try to find something like this and uh, save yourself a ton of money. This power here believe it or not will cost you well over fifty dollars um, if you went to a pet store and they measure by the ounce, it'll cost you well over fifty dollars, maybe in a seventy-five dollar range to a hundred. Um, so, if you want to bake these things and uh, get rid of the germs, wash them up with the hottest water you can get, boiling hot if you can get it, just to be safe. Then take them. Um, you can put them on aluminum foil on a baking sheet. Make sure it's really wrapped up. You don't want to. Um, you know, have pieces hanging off, so make sure that the pieces actually fit on the pan and they don't hang off the side because you don't want to start a fire. You can put it on between, depending on how hot your ovens get, 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, in between 8 to 10 minutes. And then I usually flip them over and do maybe 8 to 5 minutes or 5 to 8 minutes, whatever. Uh, depending on how big your piece is and how thick they are, how long they are, um, how wet they still are. I usually do that, then I'll take them out again, like these I did once, I'm going to do another treatment tomorrow, I'm going to do the same thing all over again. And pieces like this, which has some of that white back there, that might be bird shit or <laughs> whatever, and uh, you see the sappy parts, the sap actually hardens almost like a candy. Uh, the good thing about finding big pieces like this is that you can take them and after you cook them, or bake them, they um, actually break apart real well. This piece was actually attached to um, another part. Some of these parts here actually just broke off. Once you get them all nice and wet, and uh, they they come apart real well. And you can almost mold them in a way. Once you um, get them uh, wet and you wash them off, they get. Um, very soft and then you can break them almost into whatever size piece you want you can shape them very easily just using your hands once they harden uh, you know you can get those jagged edges in there but I usually do it when they're wet and I kinda just do all kinds of different shapes and sizes obviously for you beginners out there this would be good for um, an arboreal you can put pieces together this is another good one for an arboreal a tall piece but if you got small little slings and you want to make hides you can get something like this and break it into four parts and kind of mold it and shape it into something that looks like a hide, a natural hide. Put your moss on there and um, you got yourself basically what they sell in the store, only it's more natural. And uh, I noticed that my teas that uh, have the natural ones in here instead of, instead of the fake cork bark, they tend to hang out a little more on the tree, the ones that were actually living out in the wild as opposed to the fake cork bark that they sell sometimes in pet stores so you know eventually when I do rehousings or whatever I'm gonna take all the the, the faker you know cork bark out and I'll replace it with stuff like this because I, I, I love it I love the way it feels I love how you can um, 
you know, it's a lot thinner, takes up a lot less space depending on some of the pieces. A piece like this at a pet store might be a lot thicker, but the same length takes up a lot of real estate where you can just take something like this and uh, grab yourself another piece, you know, glue them together and uh, you can make them as thick as you want. You can layer them and um, kind of, you know, make, do whatever you want. I mean, it's, it's your, it's your enclosure, it's your tea. So, this update video, I want to show everybody this and um, also want to send a shout out to my uh, boy, um, guitar guy, uh, 1031. He had a mature male, one of the biggest mature male uh, Grammar Soul Rosaires I've ever seen. His name was the Rosinator. And uh, he just uh, passed away from old age. Um, actually started molting and uh, from what I hear he died uh, mid-molt. So um, this is a shout out from one of my best friends, uh, Guitar Guy 1031 Check out his page and you can see um, the Rosinator on there. Big male. But um, that, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching.